So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Wins to throw on second down. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. this thing way downfield and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down and you just know when that play call came in their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield that's a lot of fun and they missed an opportunity second down now after the incompletion Working from the gun, Wentz. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. down, Wentz, buying time to his left, completes it to Aguilar, and he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10, chewing up big yardage, another nice game there, this one goes for 20. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time, here's where it really pays off, able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. The slot man in motion right. Here's Ajayi. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Aguilar in motion left. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be third and 10. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. 
They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. And the back goes into motion. Now Wentz on third down. And that is incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So now on is Caleb Sturgis for the Eagle field goal. Sturgis able to knock it through and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7 so the scoring drive encompasses nine plays but the net gain three points and you're gonna have drives like that in this league sometimes you just gotta take the three and move on always better than nothing that'll be taken in the end zone and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. Second down, Ryan. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. So out come the Falcons now. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. 
So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Now Ryan. Finding Gabriel complete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. On first down, Ryan. He completes it to Julio Jones. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 57 yards. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post trap? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, 